what's going on everybody um i hope everybody's doing well i am just popping in here to show you guys uh there is an easter egg in the new destiny 2 shadow keep expansion to get a emblem right is that what they're called or are they call yeah they're called emblems right i just forget i don't use these that much yeah emblem you can get a secret emblem in here um that was put in here by nasa or it's made to look like NASA. I'm not exactly sure. It is very cool. Um, what I'm going to do is make some room here for a quick second. And I'm going to show you guys how to get it. It's really pretty easy. Uh, the only problem is, is there are some difficult enemies along the way. Um, if you take your time and you don't mind dying a few times, you can do this by yourself. Uh, my light right now is 812. Uh, it, they suggest when you get in there, whenever you die, you know, and it says what your power should be. Um, it's saying that you should be at about 870, but you know what? You can still kill them. Um, it doesn't take that long. Like I said, as long as you don't mind dying a few times as you go. Um, I would suggest bringing in a sniper rifle and a rocket launcher and a really, um, just because they seem to do the most damage fast. All right. So I'm going to show you real quick here how to do it. Uh, you want to go to the moon. And you're going to drop yourself off here at Sanctuary Drop. Okay. And we're going to need to make our way to a lost sector that is down here along Archer's Line. Right here. And it's going to look real familiar when you get there. Because it's basically where the main landing zone was for the moon in Shadow... In, uh, I'm sorry, Destiny 1. So, uh, you can't get there directly just by going straight. You have to go around. So we're going to go around this way. Make sure not to... Uh... Only the loading screen right there for some reason for now. When you get here, you're going to want to turn. Hard left. As soon as you get to the angle, you, you can go down here. Or will you be like your think you're getting lost, just check your map real quick. Make sure you're still heading the right direction, which I am. Wanted to make sure. It just takes a minute to get down there. There we go. Okay, so you should recognize this point right here. Uh, except the, uh, <laughs> the part here in the middle that used to be one big line, it's now broken in the middle. That. This is the very first area from the moon from Destiny 1. You want to come all the way down to the building at the end near where the landing zone was. Right here. You want to go inside. As soon as you're inside, take another left. Go through this door that used to be a dead end with a treasure chest sometimes in it. It's no longer a dead end. You can now go through here. And this is where it's going to start to get difficult, so I'm going to stop talking for a minute, and I'll come back and talk again when I need to explain something else. But for now, I just got to make it through this area.
Okay, now once you get to this point, you don't have to fight everybody in the room. If you want to clear the Lost Sector, which I haven't done yet because the eyeball is very powerful once you drop the shield, and like I said, 870 is the recommended. All you got to do is stick to the right. We're going to jump over here. We're going to quickly make our way up here. Okay, and it's right here. See the uh, down moon satellite? Just investigate it. Boom. There's your emblem. Now you can get the punk and wagon liar. Come back when you have more power to actually do the lost sector. And we'll take a look at the emblem real quick, which is actually pretty cool. Got to do this for all three of my characters. So uh, that's two characters now. So let's take a look at it. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? I like it. So yeah, that's how to get the secret NASA Easter egg emblem on the moon. I hope this helps people out. Um, give me a like if you like this video. Leave me a comment if you feel like it. And uh, please subscribe if you want to see more like this. Uh, I will talk to uh, everybody later. I hope you have a great day.